What's up guys? So if you're in the position of changing your domain name and you want to inform Google about your new domain name, then this tutorial is going to be for you. We are going to go through Google Search Console really quick and just show you how to inform Google that you have a new domain and that'll speed up the process of Google recognizing that your new domain is a replacement for your old domain. So a couple notes before I dive into GSC. Um, I'll have this documentation linked below. But basically, there's a couple of things you need to watch out for. And, and in these cases, this tool is not for you. So if you're changing from HTTP to HTTPS, don't use this tool. If you're moving some like sub directory on your website, so like example.com slash old path to new path, don't use this. If you're adding www or moving it, don't use this tool. Um, and you know, the last one's not really that important. So just be aware of those things. So this is if you're doing a complete domain name change. All right, so if you have passed those tests, then the next thing you need to do is add 301 redirects to your website. So regardless of this tool I'm about to show you here, uh, so if you go into GSC and then go into settings on your old website or existing one, they have a tool for change of address. So my website is currently changing right now, which is why I have this message right here, but you can't use this tool until you add the 301 redirects to your website. So you need to make sure that every page from the old domain redirects to the new domain. This is pretty easy if you're using Cloudflare, you can easily forward the domain and then just take like the sub path and keep it the same and you just swap out the domain. So make sure your 301 redirects are in there. You can't use this tool unless they are. So if you try to click on it, Google's gonna validate some of the URLs, make sure the 301's in there. If they're not, then you gotta go add them. All right, so once you have added the 301 redirects, you need to make sure that both your old site and new site are verified within GSC, Google Search Console. If you're not familiar with this tool, I have a tutorial on my channel. Feel free to check it out, especially the intro, which shows you how to verify your site pretty easy though, so you, you probably don't even need the tutorial, but both, both websites need to be verified in GSC. So once they are, go to the old website, go to settings, and then click change of address. In here, your screen will be a little bit different because mine is active right now. There's a drop down of all of your verified GSC websites. You're gonna click your new website that you wanna migrate to, and then they'll do their tests, make sure your redirects are working, and then initiate the process. So. I can see the status up here. Also on my performance chart, I have this little arrow and if I click it, it's saying that they're recognizing that there was a change. So my data might start to change right here. Now that was on November 3rd. It's November 14th at the time of recording this. And if we open up the full report, we can see my traffic is starting to drop off here, which is expected. And then if I go to my new site, uh, I'm starting to see some of that traffic pick up here. So I'm hoping that it's a pretty clean transition and there's no traffic drop. It's not gonna be all at once though, as far as the traffic just all of a sudden switching over to the new website. Now in this documentation, Google recommends that you keep your redirects active for 180 days uh, or in, until, or, you know, or if, if there's still traffic going to those pages, then, then keep the redirects there, but you want them there for at least 180 days. So make sure to keep the redirects active for that long. And then hopefully this transition is going to be clean. There won't be any traffic losses. And if you combine the two together, uh, as far as like the old site, new site, it would be like there, there was no drop at all. So that, that's really the hope here, but it's normal to have to change domains. I would try to avoid it, but it looks like there's good tools out there and Google recognizes this need. So I don't, I don't think it's really a big deal at all. If I do have any like crazy drops, I will follow up after this transition occurs, whether it's you know another 90 days or 180 days, I will let you guys know in like a comment below or the description. So check back if it's much later than the time of recording this. Well, that's all guys, feel free to drop comments if you have questions and check out the channel for other GSC stuff. I love this tool, it's amazing for SEO and improving your traffic, so if you're not very familiar with it, I definitely recommend checking it out. And I'm gonna have some stuff coming out in the future, I don't wanna talk about it too much, but that's gonna be a potentially a tool that's gonna help out uh, us SEOs make very insightful decisions using GSC with a, with a little sauce on top. So stay tuned for that, guys, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching until the end. I appreciate you, and we'll catch you in the next one.